Hello, this is Mr. Willis, and I'm going to take a moment to give you a quick walkthrough of Infinite Campus, which we use for things like grades, uh, lunch balances, student schedules, all kinds of stuff like that. So a couple ways to get here. One is if you just go to our website, gcmsk12.org, there is a button right here on our main page that lets you get logged into Infinite Campus. You can also download the Campus mobile app. Uh, just do a search for Campus Student or Campus Parent in your app store, and it should pop up. Uh, one pro tip when you are setting up the mobile app it will ask you to search for your school district at the beginning and do not type in GCMS type in Gibson because it has our name listed out with the full name with the full uh, town names Gibson City Melvin Sibley uh, so once anyway once you've got that um, we can log in as a student or a parent I'm going to go ahead and do a parent in this case if you have any problems with your username, password, uh, please contact me, willis.walker at gcmsk12.org, and I will happily uh, get that fixed for you so that you can access Infinite Campus. Once you first get logged in, you'll see a screen like this. I'm going to go ahead and close out the little welcome thing here. And so we have kind of a dashboard uh, that shows links to either student. Uh, it has some announcements uh, that we may have posted. It also shows your cart, um, which one thing I want to show you here real quick is this is where you can set up my accounts. So if you need to have any payment methods, um, such as a credit card, credit debit card, or uh, you can also just connect a bank account, um, you can set those up here. Uh, one note, if you are paying via a credit or debit card, we do have a uh, 3.65 percent uh, service fee that gets applied to every transaction if you choose to pay just with an e-check it's a 35 cent uh, charge per transaction no matter how big the charge so you could definitely probably save some money by going more through e-check um, anyway uh, once you have that some of the main things that you're going to want to check out from our main menu over here we're going to start with the schedule just because i'm doing this at the beginning of the year one of the first things you usually want to figure out for your student is their schedule um, and so you can see that here note that uh, there may be different schedules so like at the middle school if your student is in band or chorus they have a slightly different schedule on monday wednesday friday than they do tuesday thursday i'll also note that if you have more than one student there's a button right up here in the top right where you can switch between students so that you can see the schedule for either one. Um, another important thing is your food service. So if your student is going to be eating any meals at school, this is where you can reload your account. We do use household family accounts. So you do not have to put money on each individual student. You just reload your household account uh, whenever it is running low and uh, either student that is, um, that is using that will be able to, um, to use funds from that. Um, fees is an important thing to double check at the beginning of the year, uh, especially if you've just completed registration. You want to make sure that if you have any registration fees, that those are getting paid. Um, you may have extra fees come up through the year. This would be uh, if you had a Chromebook repair or something like that where we had to, to charge a fee, you would see it show up in here. And we would be sure to contact you uh, in the event of any fees like that. Um, we also do have a school store. Uh, right now, if you look in the middle school store, we've got athletic passes. So you can get like family passes that get you into all of our athletic events. I know at the high school um, school store, we also do have this year's uh, yearbooks are already on sale there. So you can go, you can go pick up your yearbook. Um, but we'll have other things throughout the year, such as, you know, homecoming t-shirts, that kind of stuff um, you can see in the school store. In the documents section, um, this will be like when we have um, certain things come up, we may have documents that post it. An important one is uh, if you want a printable, a printer friendly version of the student schedule, we have that available here. So you can look that up for your student if you want to get like a nice, you know, fits on one page printed copy. Um, we've got that there for you. Um, another thing, of course, that's really important once we get going with the school here, school year is going to be to double check your grades here. Uh, so similarly with the schedule, remember you can switch between students up here in the top right. And uh, I am doing this actually before school starts, so we don't have any grades yet for the year. But as the school year um, continues on, you will see uh, the grades start filling in here. And you can click on any of these classes to see 
kind of more detail of all of the assignments that have been entered into the gradebook so you can keep up to date on what is going on with your student. So that's the general overview. Um, as always, if you have questions of any kind, contact me, willis.walker at gcmsk12.org, or you can contact any of our school offices, and we are happy to help you out. Have a great school year.